My first clipper cut was actually an off-site clipper cut. I went to the hospital and it was a 16-year-old young lady who was never going home. And she had this crazy blue wig that she wanted to wear for her Christmas pictures. And I clippered her and her family and then we took pictures. And it was the first time I'd ever really been around something like that. And it was at that moment that I realized that we were doing the right thing. And the impact that we were going to have on people for doing this is unbelievable. She wasn't sure of her prognosis. Uh, she, wasn't, she was very uncertain of how things were going to go. And I think that above anything else is terrifying. It has to be. It feels good to be able to help someone, hopefully, and make their day a little brighter when they're so upset and they're so uncertain. My very first one was very nervous because I didn't know what to expect. I asked her, do you want to you know, sit in the back station? And she asked because she didn't want people looking at her. She just cried through the whole thing. It was, she had her friend there for support, but it was hard. We actually shaved all her hair off and we actually put it all in a bag for her. She wanted to save all her hair. It's different each time. Each customer is completely different. I'm here, you know, I'm here to get my hair shaved off. I'm a cancer patient. And we put them on the wait list. I'll say, would you like to go in a back station? Would you prefer not to be around anybody, you know, a little more privacy for you? And they'll say yes or they'll say no. And if they do, you take them to the back station. You know, and then when you get them back there, you kind of ask, well, you know, do you want to be turned away from the mirror or do you want to watch? Because a lot of times people don't want to watch their hair fall off. It's not a fast going haircut time thing. It's one of those things, you spend about 30 to 45 minutes with these people shaving their head because you want them to feel comfortable with what you're doing. And you need to find a little bit about the customer before you actually go in because a lot of people may say, I'll pray for you, but they may not believe in that, the customer may not. So you gotta watch, and that's why I say you kind of feed off what the customer says, let the customer coach you into talking to you. It usually gets closed off with hugs and you're hugging the family members if they got support system. Because a lot of times they come in with family members and you know, they'll all go back there with you. I mean, it's usually hugs. And what I, I like to do, I tell them, you know, call me and let me know how you're doing. Being a cancer patient myself and part of that community, uh, I discovered that there are salons out there that don't offer the service or offer the service and charge for the service, which I just don't think is right. So I just think it's the right thing to do. To, to um, It's a need, not a want, and I think we can provide that to cancer patients in our community. I've always felt that we, with our stylists, have taught them to give back uh, in life, that that's part of, of who we are. And, and I think this is one of several programs that um, show that, they demonstrate that to our, our stylists and to the community. They can serve this customer, provide the service with empathy and understanding and caring and make that piece uh, along a customer's cancer journey that one piece of their journey just a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier. They have the ability to provide that to them. The Clips of Kindness program reflects the Great Clips brand because Great Clips is family. Great Clips is community. And doing a program like this for somebody who is in need of something that they don't want, that they, don't, they didn't choose, is who Great Clips is, is, is helping and being part of that and being that family and community and support. So that's my belief as to why Clips of Kindness is a perfect program for Great Clips. It's a perfect fit. All right, Jane, are you ready? Yeah, just give me a minute. Um, just dealing with all the emotions again. Um, you know, I'm... Me too. You know, it's, it's fear, it's a 
sadness, it's anger, being overwhelmed. And, um, but it's time. It's time. I, you know, it's starting to come out yeah. a little bit now. I had the first chemo a couple weeks ago, so we give you about two and a half weeks. And uh, it starts falling out, so not my service I like to come in for, but the service I need at this time. So I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Do you want to do it like we did last time, where I just clip her all the way down with no guard? Did we or do, do you want no to do guard? a one last we, time? Did we do a one? We did a no guard. We didn't know. But it guard. was already falling out in clumps last time. Yeah. Well, that that would happen next week if by next week if we didn't do it. So, yeah. I I guess let's just let's just do yeah, it. Just go down to let's, no guard. Let's just do it. Take it off. Yep. All right. But the feeling is, can be scary. Um, it's emotional to, to lose that hair. Um, so there was probably maybe even some of that in there for me. And there may be for some of your customers. You know, you, you don't know what their story is. You know, you get... We cut Jane's short to start with. She didn't have long hair to begin with, but we cut it short and then we clippered it off because it's just, that emotional impact of basically losing your identity. I probably handled it better than her in the moment, but it was, we took a, a picture afterwards and I sent it to my two daughters. I have two daughters, six grandchildren, one great grandchild and one on the way. <laughs> and um, it was sad for my daughters. And I said, why are you so sad? And they said, because it makes it real. It just really makes it real. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this is not a journey that anyone chooses to go down. But it's important for the Great Clips brand to help someone go down that journey and make that step just a teeny bit easier for them.